Hi, my name is Mary, and I make books. I make big books, and I make little books, but most of the books that I make have blank pages in them. The pages are good for writing, they're good for drawing. I don't bind books that have stories in them already, because I like other people to write their own stories in my books. The first book that I ever made was in fourth grade and I was doing a book report on two different states. But the kind of books that I make now, I started making 12 years ago out of scrap paper that I had lying around. My favorite kind of book to make is a book structure. It's called a springback. It does exactly what it says, which is why I love it. So a springback has a hard spine on it. It springs open and it springs closed. The neat thing about a spring back is that it's completely flat when you write in it. So you're not having to try to get it open just to write it in or draw in it. Paper comes in all different sizes and you can cut it small or big. And the books that I make, I make them in all different sizes too. So I can make them large and heavy and big sometimes with printed pages in them. I like making them small enough that you could put into a bag, small enough to put in a pocket. I like making my own papers, so I paint my own papers. This is also leather. Sometimes I make really small books. So this is just like that other book, but really, really tiny. Blank pages. And you can make books small enough, tiny enough, so that you could even wear them on your ears or around your neck. And the fun thing about these is that you can still write in them. That's what I like. I like making books that you can write in. Because they have blank pages, every single person is going to end up with a different book because you have a different imagination and a different story to tell. One of the books that I like to make, it's a really small, portable, it's called a day book. And the reason I call it a day book is because you can use it in about a day. You can use it every day. Small enough, you can put it in your pocket. Um, blank pages. A book like this looks like this before I make it. It has a cover, pages, a little bit of thread, and a little needle. Right there, a little needle. And that's all really a day book is. The biggest thing that I enjoy about making is that sometimes you make something that doesn't work. It's not wasted time because you learn. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay because we learn from them. And if you learn from your mistake, you can make a better book next time. Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm an art teacher with Tennessee Craft. I'm sure many of you are like Mary and love books, but have you ever thought of making one of your own? Mary showed me a few simple steps for making a pocket-sized book, and I'm going to share those with you today. So let's get ready and gather our materials. You will need a cover material. That can be any kind of heavy paper. Decorative ones are nice, and if you've been following along, you can see this is one I printed in a previous activity. The inside paper can be recycled paper, copy paper, a pencil, scissors, a needle, and thread. So let's get started. First, we want to take our cover and put it together with our inside pages. We're going to fold those and crease them. You can use the edge of a pencil to get that crease. Then we want to open that up and we're going to make three holes for this binding. We'll be doing something called a saddle stitch. To do that, I'm going to place it over cardboard so I have a protective work surface. I'm going to make my three holes with a pencil. Mary uses a tool called an awl, but since we don't have one of those, this will work just fine. I'm going to press one into the center, and then one at the head of the book, that's the top, and one at the tail, that's the bottom. Once I have my three holes, I can begin sewing. Thread your needle, and then take it and run it through the center of the book. 
Once you pull the thread through, leave just a little bit of a tail. We'll need that at the end to tie off. And then, on the opposite side, run it through the head. When you turn it back over, you're going to then run it all the way to the tail and go through that hole. And for your last stitch, we're going to turn it over and run it back through the center. When we turn it over, we want to make sure that one string is on this side of the center and the other is on this side. We're going to tie it off. And then snip it with your scissors. Fold it. You just made your own pocket-sized book. Mary calls these day books. For more information about this activity, including step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and tricks, please visit TennesseeCraft.org.